Okay, everybody. Today I'm fighting gophers. I've been fighting gophers. This is my third one. The first two we caught. Actually, I caught the same way. I put a hose in the in the uh, latest hole. I had covered all the other holes, and then when this one uh, came came uh, when I covered up, I started filling that uh, those holes up. Water started overfilling, and then he ran from there over to the other hole, which was here. And then we, he was like, um, he couldn't find nowhere to go because the water was coming out of the other hole. So then he got caught. I got him right there. He's caught. I put him in this bucket with a lid because um, I didn't set a trap. I, I just did it. Um, you know, with uh, um, I just caught him in in uh, alive, and so there he is. Um, anyway, so that's the third one. Hopefully, there's no more. Bye, everybody. Oh, I set up my umbrella. <laughs> I set up my umbrella to sit here and watch him. I don't know if you guys can see this, but. I have a little setup here. My shovel. Got my umbrella. <laughs> I got my umbrella and my chair here. And my shovels. The water with a little, um, it shut off valve right at the hose. So, and then my bucket with a lid. And man, I was ready for gopher season. They destroyed, uh, I caught one in this hole and then there were, his waterway was going all the way across the fence and this way. And then now I see that it also went that way and apparently in the middle. This is not my yard. This is the neighbor's yard. Now, what prompted me to come this way was they had made a hole here and destroyed my lawn here. My lawn had started to look pretty nice. Then the gopher started jacking it up right here. All this was a huge hole, a bunch of holes. I would say maybe 30 holes. And I plugged them all up and I caught them. And there's, look, destroyed this part of my lawn. And there was also, I caught another one over here. Yeah, I caught one there. And then he made holes all in here. This one. This is a different one. <laughs> he made holes everywhere. Destroyed this part of the lawn. Right there. I caught him in that hole. But he came out the back side and then I caught him. He destroyed this lawn by putting holes everywhere. See these? All these dark patches? Where, where he kept destroying. And I think this was one of the main ones. But still not quite level here. But we, there was another main tunnel here. I caught one here as well. That was before this episode. Right in here, there was another hole. We caught that one. And they, he used to come out right here under this rock. So they basically had a network throughout my whole garden. So what I do now is whenever I, I find them, I stomped their tunnel way because everybody says, oh, they're solitary creatures. They're alone. There's only one. Uh-uh. Every time a new litter is born, they kick the babies out and they go find another hole. But they share the same um, main highway <laughs> or tunnel system. So they might have a little cave somewhere, but they're still sharing the main tunnel. So... <clears throat> That all this destruction that happened was then, after I finished get, catching them right there, they came to this lot, which is an empty lot. They're building a house in. And so I caught one here. And then you can see, I mean, the destruction, they were, they've already probably got a huge network. I've been running this water quite a while. But the reason I'm still running it is because I know they share the network. I'm not sure there was only one left. And what will happen is 
once it gets to the shared network of the next one, it will likely uh, pop up somewhere here. So what I do is I come like and step on all the little mounds, stomp them. And then um, if there's any new ones, then I know that's where they're at. Because otherwise they trick you by putting so many holes. And uh, so this little bugger, he's in this bucket. I don't know. I was thinking I might want to make one of those ant farm things where you could watch him dig but nah you see him i see all this little sucker there he is trying to figure out how he's gonna get out of this mess <laughs> anyway so i uh, what i did was i turned the bucket upside down over him and then i slid this uh, quarter inch piece of wood over it under it it caught a little dirt, but that's okay. And then I caught him right here. So he ran over the ground because I'm, I'm sure the water started reaching him. He ran over, above ground, came all the way across here where my cousin was standing and she started screaming. Um, I had just left for a minute to go to the bathroom. And when I came back, sure enough, he was standing out here hissing at her. And... Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover everything up. <clears throat> and if I see anything new, I know there's another one. But I did buy a few um, traps. And unfortunately, with these black traps, the black box traps, you should buy two. And I didn't know that when I bought it. In fact, all the traps should have two. Because you go in one side and set it up on one side. And then... Um, then you um, set it up on the other way that, cause you don't know what side they're gonna come through. And um, so then I, I was gonna put this one on the other side, but then I opted, you know what? It's it's new enough that I should just go ahead and, and put water in the hole and try and catch them that way. Cause I've had success with that on all my other ones, especially if it's a brand new hole and it was. So that's the third one that I cost, use, uh, caught using the water method. And so I'm hoping that that uh, shared waterway will um, cause the rest of them to come out if there's any more. I don't see any more popping up at the moment, but there's a lot of water pressure going in there and it's been going quite a while. So, you know, he had a huge network. And there's my cousin. Laughing at me because I've been on a, I've been on a rampage with those doggone critters. Anyway, so this this is where there was another big hole here as well. Yes, yesterday I think it was, and um, we cut that one too. So <clears throat> he did come out of there that hole. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. And good luck catching gophers. Look at there you go, little guy. You're caught. Don't be digging in my yard. That's right.